Today we're driving a 2020 Honda Ridgeline. Honda's made a couple changes for this 2020 model year. We have a new 9-speed automatic transmission and a new 8-inch infotainment display. A few other changes inside and out, but otherwise it's the same Ridgeline it's always been. I think uh, a truck like this has some real positives compared to the traditional body on frame offerings from a lot of the other manufacturers. It does the daily driving thing just so much better than all the competition. So in this video, let's talk about that. Let's kind of go over some of the merits, pros and cons of this Ridgeline. We'll take it for a drive and we'll do a sound system test at the end of the video. So this has Honda's 3.5 liter V6. It makes 280 horsepower. You can get it in front wheel drive or all wheel drive configurations. The front wheel drive has a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds. The all wheel drive, 5,000 pounds. I believe it's a 5.3 inch bed. And that's pretty similar to a lot of the short bed configurations from its competitors. Some of you probably already know this, but this tailgate has some pretty cool configurations. It also opens from the side here. It has a hinged door. And then there's this lockable, massive trunk uh, where you can fit a lot of stuff in here. There's even a drain plug down there, compact spare, a jack, pretty nifty. And uh, I'm sure you could find a lot of neat uses for that. We have some more cool packaging tricks in the back seats. These fold up and uh, you get both sides up. You can fit a whole mountain bike in here. That's pretty neat. I would find that very useful. Otherwise, easy to get in and out of. Plenty of back seat room. It's comfortable. The ride quality is great thanks to independent rear suspension. No solid rear axles here. And the Ridgeline has always looked a little bit funny for being a truck, but I think over the years they've done some improvements and I'm sure they will continue to do so as they keep making this Ridgeline going forward. Let's look under the hood. That 3.5 liter V6. A great engine. You still get VTEC in this. It screams. We'll definitely uh, listen to it a little bit in this video. All right, as you can see, we're on a little bit of a dirt road area here. Let's see how this Ridgeline feels and handles. You get very standard Honda interior ergonomics here. Looks like there's an off-road mode, normal snow, mud, sand. Let's do sand. You can turn off engine stop start. You've got buttons for climate control, a uh, pretty standard Honda infotainment. You get Apple CarPlay, uh, but once you get into the actual menus, it's kind of laggy, it's kind of slow. No volume knob, but not the end of the world. And uh, I always figure, if you, as long as you have Apple CarPlay, you're in pretty good shape. These seats are super comfortable. Visibility is fantastic. Get a little sunroof, sunglass holder. Yeah, I mean, all the things that you would in a typical Honda. All right, let's take this for a drive. In sand mode, we can see traction control has been turned off. One of the best parts about the Ridgeline is that the ride quality is just so nice. It handles well, it's smooth. It's quite comfortable off-road, which is very nice. The oil drive system works quite well for most off-roading needs. As you can see, in sand mode, a little bit of a liberal traction control system, which is quite nice. Super comfortable through that section. Yeah, I'm impressed. 
impressed. I think for most people's purposes, a truck like this is exactly what they need, which is kind of ironic because I think most people go for the traditional choices. But after living with a truck like this for a week or a few days, you really do begin to appreciate some of its merits. Going off road here, you can see just in our very simple, delicate off road course that it fares just fine. But where this ridge line really shines is on the road. Actually, let's take a right. This V6 is a peach. It's just such a great engine. And paired with this new nine-speed automatic, I don't really have many complaints. It's a very nice powertrain. It's smooth, acceleration is ample. It seems to uh, do a good job shifting and selecting gears on its own. There's a little bit of a delay on downshifts, but for the most part, it gives you what you need when you need it. And the ride quality here is fantastic. I don't think I've driven a, uh, a pickup truck in this class that rides quite like this. It really soaks up potholes and road imperfections very well. It's very sophisticated. It kind of, it just feels like a crossover. There's a little bit more wind noise than you would expect. But otherwise, this thing is super pleasant to drive. You'll even average pretty decent fuel economy. This is rated for 19 miles to the gallon in the city, 24 on the highway. But as we've seen from some of our driving of ridge lines over the years, we've actually averaged closer to 26, 28 on the highway. And uh, if you keep your speeds down, you can get some pretty impressive fuel economy with this. I've always commented how I love how smooth Hondas are to drive, and this Ridgeline is no exception. All of your inputs, the steering, the drivetrain, the buttons, the fit and finish of everything, it feels very high quality, it feels like it's gonna last a long time, and like it'll pretty much feel like this in 10 years, which says a lot. That V6 just screams, I love it. Later this week, we're gonna to be towing with this Ridgeline, so we'll see how it does uh, with some toys on the back. We've got some side-by-sides from Honda, two Talons that are coming in, so we're gonna have a little bit of fun with those. We figured it'd be fun to do kind of a Honda experience with the Ridgeline, towing the Honda side-by-sides and we'll take them out to the dunes, take them off some jumps, and uh, maybe even take the Ridgeline out up a sand dune or two, see how it does off-road. Plenty of power torque acceleration from this V6. It is a rev happy motor, so it definitely likes the high RPMs. Okay, you have paddle shifters. Look at that rotation, that handling. Again, for the most part, when you're driving this thing, you forget that it's a truck until you look behind you. It really does drive like a well-set-up crossover. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I think this is pretty much all the truck most people need. 
most people are just taking their trucks to Home Depot or using them as daily drivers. And for this, it's probably the best option on the market. Unless if you really need something that's towing a lot or going off-road in Colorado or Alaska, this is going to take you where you need to go 99% of the time. Getting onto the highway, we have all of Honda's sensing technology. So we got radar, you got a cruise control, lane keep, assist. All of your buttons and systems are easily accessible down here. You can turn them on or off. Collision mitigation, all that good stuff. Lane departure warning, there's a button for it right here. Again, fantastic ergonomics, really easy to uh, operate and use on a daily basis. Wind noise on the highway at 80 miles an hour is pretty decent, not too bad. Let's see what the sound system sounds like. Sound system sounds great. No complaints there. A little bit bass heavy, but you can always adjust the equalizer. You know, to sum up this Ridgeline, this is actually a truck I would consider buying someday. They're very good to drive as just a normal car, a normal vehicle, but you get the extra usability of the truck bed and just some of the cool packaging features that come with this Ridgeline. It's fuel efficient and probably pretty cheap to run. And every time I get in one and spend a few days in one, I just think it's an easy vehicle to live with. And you don't have to make all the compromises that you normally would with a truck. And uh, as you've seen from our most recent video in the Toyota Tacoma, it's a truck full of compromises. And um, I'm not really sure that offers anything more this Ridgeline, if anything, I would take one of these all day over at Tacoma. So anyway, if you're not going to be doing a ton of towing or off-roading, but you still need a truck bed and uh, some of the usability factor that comes with a, with a truck like this, then I would highly recommend this as an option. Alright guys, well that's the Honda Ridgeline. It's been a while since we've had one of these, so I figured it'd be a good idea to revisit it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll uh, be doing some towing with this later this week, so we'll be sure to report back on how it does in that department. I'm sure it'll be just fine. 
Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely looks better with a little bit of dirt slung up the side. <laughs>